They said it would be a routine mission, just a few hours near light speed. But when I came back, Earth had changed. What I experienced is called time dilation, a mind-bending consequence of Einstein's special relativity. Simply put, the faster you move, the slower time flows. For you. Imagine two clocks. One stays on Earth, the other travels near light speed. When you return, your clock shows hours, while Earth's clock shows years. This isn't just theoretical. It's been confirmed by experiments with atomic clocks on jets and satellites. Astronauts on the International Space Station age milliseconds less per day than people on Earth due to their speed. At extreme speeds, the effect becomes dramatic. Approaching light speed, decades could pass on Earth in just hours for you. The equation behind this is simple but mind-blowing. Time experienced, such as time on Earth, x, 1, v to c2, where v is your speed and c is the speed of light. As v approaches c, the square root shrinks, meaning your personal time almost stops. Einstein's insight changed how we understand the universe. Time is flexible, not fixed. Space and time are woven together in a cosmic dance, and speed can bend that dance in ways that feel like time travel. So, the next time someone talks about traveling near light speed, remember, you might leave for a few hours and return to a whole new world.